Greg Powers, Dave Campbell's Texas football, and I'm joined out here at the Texas State 7-on-7 seven seven with Sammy Omasigo, man. A uh, lot of opportunity coming your way on the recruiting trail, but before we dive into the X's and O's of that, I want to talk about Crandall, man. Uh, had a pretty good year last year. You're playing on both sides of the football. Um, just kind of break it down, the toughness it takes, the mentality it takes to be a two-way player, especially at the level that y'all are playing at. Well, being a two-way player, is uh, it's a grind. It's a little hustle. You know, you have to be in shape for both sides of the ball. And at some times it can get very difficult and it can get very stressful, but you have to be able to cope with all the, all the, all the things it brings with it. I just want to talk a little bit about Crandall. What's it like being a football player there? How's the community to support the team? Um, you guys got good fans out there? What's it like playing at Crandall? Playing at Crandall is something different. You know, our fans are very in tune with the football program. They have a lot of uh, respect for us, a lot of love. They show a lot of love towards us. You know, when we have Friday nights, the place, the town's almost closed down, you know, towns. Stands is full, and we show a lot of love. Got a, a new coach a couple years back, Coach Harden, and it seems to have really made an impact. What's it like playing for him, and how has he embraced the culture there? How does the team like him? Coach Harden is an exceptional coach. You know, when he came to the program, we started off with a slow up that first year, but now picking it up every single year, and he's done a lot of things for this program, changed us a lot, built a lot of new facilities, and with him, we're going to be a great school. Man, yourself playing on both sides of the ball, I know you probably have offers to play in multiple positions. Do you start to think about what position fits you best and do you have an idea what that might be or are you just trying to find a spot and then let the future sort itself out? Well, uh, me personally, I'm getting recruited for linebacker. Okay. So that's my, my position of, uh, my main position actually. A um, lot of schools on the list. I'm not gonna be able to talk about all your offers, man. There's way too many. He has a top 10. I know you've taken some official visits. Um, OU in Florida. So I'm going to ask you about those schools first. Um, talk about, you know, Boomer Sooner, what's Norman like? Um, how do you feel like you could fit in with that team if that were, you, you know, maybe your future destination? Oklahoma's a great program, you know. They have Coach Venables there, the new head coach. You know, he's a, come from a defensive coordinator from Clemson where he had a bunch of success. And uh, bringing him over here is a, into a great program that was already great before he came here. So I feel he's going to turn the program around for, for even the better. Florida and the SEC, I'm sure that that was a fun trip, just getting to go to the, you know, what the Sunshine State, yeah. you know, and, and see what the Gators are all about. Another team with a great history. Coach Napier and the staff, they're a great program. I had a great visit this past week. They really treat me like a family, like a brother there, and even the players that are there. I can tell the camaraderie and the, the fun and the head, all the, the business they put in the work to, it was all awesome. Um, I want to at least ask about one in-state program. You know, you got a lot of offers. So I got to work in some Texas love a little bit. TCU, a school not too far away from home that's offered in the Big 12. What keeps Sonny Dykes and um, the Horned Frogs in the mix for your signature? I went there on an official visit, on an unofficial visit, and they showed a lot of love. They really welcomed me in. The facility is great. You know, it's close to home, and they have a really good defensive staff. You know, in Coach Gillespie and. They really show me the ways and how I can really help the defense and help them to become a better program. Uh, what can we expect now from you on the recruiting front? Are you a guy that um, wants to make a decision, get it out of the way um, before the season starts? What, what's the future hold? Well, actually, I'm making my decision this next Thursday on the 30th. Okay. I'll be doing it at Crandall High School, you know, so it's time for the decision to come out. All right. Well, keep a close eye on his recruitment, man, decision. Right. TikTok and it's coming up next Thursday. <laughs> Sammy Omasigo, uh, DCTF four star, one of the top players in the entire Lone Star State. Man, good luck with that decision making process. And of course, good luck with your senior year. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. You have a good one.